Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm looking at Pixel Tactics and Pixel Tactics 2. <laughs> Didn't think that'd be a tongue twister, but turns out it is. Yeah. With designer yeah. publisher Brad Salton from Level 99 Games. Uh, I know this is a reprint of an earlier yeah, so, version. Yeah, so we released now. the original one, Pixel Tactics in the Minigame Library. And we did a video earlier, actually, at uh, last BGG Con when it first released. Yes. And, um, and it was so popular that, uh, that we did a standalone release of this one and followed it up with the sequel, Pixel Tactics 2. So, um, so these two games are both standalone games. They both mm -hmm. play right out of the box. Um, you don't need one for the other, but if you do get both and mix them together, they, um, you can play constructed modes, you can play a multiplayer mode, okay. um, you can play a draft mode. So there's a lot of variety that comes out in, the, uh, you know, in having both of these together. And we're planning to continue to expand with uh, Pixel Tactics 3 next year. So, okay. and, uh, so 2 has a bunch of, uh, well, 1 and 2, the standalone boxes have a bunch of improvements. Um, the first is that each one comes with a big, a big mat. Okay. So you didn't need a mat to play, but we had enough space, we put one in anyway. And that's on the back of the rules? Yeah, and this is on the back of the giant rule, <laughs> rule sheet, which is in big text, so you can just lay it out and play. Wow, this is for like, I'm 70 years old and my eyes don't work anymore. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, they always look smaller on the screen, right? But I'm really happy with how this turned out, actually. And you can even snap this and watch a video tutorial right. of how to play it. So we wanted to make this as accessible as possible, even to, to 70 year olds, right? <laughs> this is really, so, that, I gotta say, this is pretty amusing. It's, that, it's, have the rules that large. <laughs> yeah, well, and they fit, and they fit right in the box. So, okay. so it's good, you know, and it uh, comes with damage tokens. But the, the core gameplay is the same. Pixel Tactics 2 just gives you 25 new heroes, right. which opens up a lot of new strategy because each leader, of course, makes it play like a whole new game. Because again, if I remember correctly, you are choosing a leader at the beginning, and that mm -hmm. is sort of giving a, a character. Right. Or yeah. You a choose power you choose you. a leader at the beginning, and that affects as a global power that affects your entire unit. So, like when I use this leader, all of my heroes can use their um, their special attacks uh, abilities at any time during the round, regardless of where they're placed. But like if I put this guy as my leader, he lets me sacrifice my other guy, my own guys to destroy opponents' characters. Okay. So you get a, um, a totally different play style out of that uh, out of that capability. Like, and for example, this guy you can't even attack him. He just every time a hero, one of his heroes disappears, he loses life. So okay. he just has a set number of heroes to play through to okay. defeat him. Okay. So so everyone is totally different and gives a whole new feel to the game. And so a lot of variability just in that. Yes. Every single one gives a different play yeah. style. And once you start one playing one constructed, one it gets really crazy because you can build around certain leaders that you okay. want to play. Interesting. So. And there's more to come, you say? Yes, and more to really? come. We You're have, have we more have... than 50 different... Oh, yeah. Different oh, yeah. Your, your no, this, the, the, spa the design space is huge, and we have a lot of fun coming up with new ones. We want to do uh, trap cards and like uh, in, okay. in, the, in the fourth set, which we're planning now. But three is already done, and oh. uh, so it's just a matter of time. Right. Yeah. I gotta say so. as well, uh, you wrote a great diary talking about the um, sort of the you know the whole process with mm -hmm. um, Destination. Yeah. The evolution of this one, and you know, it actually kind of started out as a Civ game. I was inspired by Innovation to make sort okay. of a combat Civ game, and it evolved into this, which is totally <laughs> different than. Right. Than anything I imagined, but it worked out great. Right. So. So that's super, and you got a lot of love here with uh, people just being like, "I love oh, your stuff." I oh love yeah. All of your stuff. So. It's, it's no, super it's been it's been great, and uh, the BG community is great too. So you know, right. I love to to get on the boards and chat with you guys about the games, and so. uh, and such. So. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Yeah. Thanks for, oh. uh, for, you know, for inviting me out. That's it right now. It's been fun. All right. Take care.